Welcome back, everybody, to episode 34 of our Agility Build Challenge. My name is Lainey from Nerdly Gaming, and yes, it is day 38, but we are finally going to be making our Horde base. Oh, so exciting. Uh, I worked a little bit on our home this morning, so if you notice, it's been quite a bit since the last recording. But I was doing some stuff around the place. I got a little bit of stone. I put some sand to make it to the cement mixer, so basically all our stone is being turned into sand right now so that we can make some, some pieces for this because we are going to need a lot more concrete. To make more concrete, I've also put some forges to make and... A couple of cement mixers I also believe we are, we're making. So we're getting into production in our house. And I am here at the trader because we really quickly have to buy this recipe. Come Hello, Bob. Me, well, we have a lot of money here, but we're going to be focused, hyper-focused on buying these books. I want the dart trap recipe. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the dart traps done, but I wanted the recipe. So now that we have it, I feel really, really good about that. And we also can check and if we can buy some ammo. We're going to be spending all our money on this. And I think there's a little bit more here. Interesting. It's not usually separate like that. But maybe he just had so much of it that we were able to buy it. And I'll buy this too. Yes, I'm spending basically all my money on ammo at the moment. And that's fine by me. I could also buy some steel cross bolts. But I really just need iron to make these. So it doesn't seem that worth it. I will buy some casings because now we can start making our own ammo if we want to. And if I want to make a magnum or something, I could buy these. But let's leave this for the future. I do plan to make probably tomorrow work on making some weapons and work on our base. So that's what we're going to be working on. But I just wanted to buy the books really quickly. And I feel like, yeah, business has been achieved. And we already, we already have a quest from him. So, okay, perfect. Um, now, since... We are going to be working on our horde base. I have loaded up the, the bicycle with all the frames that we have made. And I didn't bring any concrete yet because, like I said, it's making. Last time we made 1,500 or so. But we did get a lot of cement from one of these houses that we were working on uh, a couple days ago, I believe. So I think we have enough to make a few thousand concrete mix if I... I'm thinking of it correctly. Um, and now we just need to find a nice flat area to make a home. I was going to put it over here. But I'm worried that things will spawn by my base. So maybe we just go just a step further. And go maybe over here. This is a little bit uneven. A little bit more uneven than I, than I would like. But uh, it does... It does... It does work, I think. We could just do it over here. Okay, first thing is we need to clear some of these trees, which is good. We just got honey from one of them, so that's pretty convenient. And we're just going to do it over here. It's a little bit close to our house, a little bit closer than I would like, but I don't think the zombies are going to spawn this far out. And like I said, our base is really not going to be that big. So I'm thinking of doing a 15 by 15. And the reason why it has to be that specific length is because I want the areas that are on the wedges to be at least four wide. So that they give us a little bit of a little bit of security. As well as the pillar that is going to be holding me is going to be a 5x5 five five room. That gives me double support at 5x5 five five and 3x3, three three, still allowing me to have some sort of access to the to the center of it. So I think this will work, guys, but you know, <laughs> as always, it's always questionable whether things will work out as intended or not. Okay, I forgot to show you guys the books. We did end up going back home and picking up some of these, some wet concrete blocks that we were making. Uh, so hopefully, <laughs> we'll be able to put these down and use them in conjunction with our rebar frames. I don't have any concrete mix with me right now, but I will get it as soon as we are able to. Um, I just forgot to show you guys what books we bought. So if you missed the last episode or the episode before that, we had found these on the trader, the Dart Trap Schematic excellent so that's going to be really nice and this one landmines won't detonate when stepped on that is incredible no more worrying about land i don't know if that means when you're on the vehicle or not but that's excellent um i didn't remember to bring more gas so this is all the gas that i have so we might have to go back home again but first let's start with the dig because this is going to take the longest the longest amount of time i believe so basically what we need to do is we need to make a 15 by 15 block and i considered making it over there or making it over here regardless it doesn't matter i'm going to get it done and what i'm trying to do really is i'm just trying to make it so that i can put some foundations around it like underneath 
And then we'll start making the dig in the middle, the pit, so to speak. We might be here for a while tonight. I am I am hopeful that we'll be able to finish, but I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure we're going to be here for a while. Let me start the dig really quickly because this needs to get done as soon as possible. And then we'll start laying out kind of the structure and then we'll dig down into the pit. So here we go. The base will be started. Finally, 38 days later, who would have thought? Okay, we have made a quick trip home to grab more gas, obviously, and to pick up all these items. Yes. So we need to place these down and we need to get them going as soon as possible. So I'm going to be making trips back home as soon as basically I have the resources. So as soon as I'm able to come here and put more stone in here, I will. Um, I do have another advanced bellows and I think another anvil, but I don't know if I have it for all of them, but it doesn't actually matter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, no. I'm just going to refill them as I can. And whatever happens, happens. It's fine. I don't need to get it done right away. I just need to have enough for tonight that I'll be able to hopefully cement all of it. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to be done today or I'll have to go into tomorrow. But whatever we do, it'll, it'll be fine. We'll just get this going. A little home is starting to come along. Look at this. Oh, wonderful. Cement mixers, forges, all going to be going on. Oh, amazing. But next, I'm just going to head back and I'm going to show you guys what I've been working on. Okay, guys, I am going around here like I'm mowing a lawn <laughs> and I'm just getting rid of the top layer of this pit. So I have made a 17 by 17 block of these wood frames. That's just to mark out our area. So if I made a 17 by 17, then that means that the interior part of this is 15 by 15, which is exactly, exactly what I need. Now, the first layer is only going to have these on. So I could just go ahead and place them if I want to. I don't think I'm going to be able to concrete this up today or at least all of it. But, you know, we're going to get what we can done done and the rest will just keep going as as we see fit. Now that we have our crafting room set up to actually produce a lot more cement and a lot more more things, we should be good. We should be good. Uh, the sand is in production. Currently, some concrete mix is in production, too. And this is not going to be that big of a base. So I think it's going to be just fine. It looks big right now. But this is because most of it will be the pit. The base is only going to be a 5x5 five five in the middle. So this should be pretty good. So this is what I wanted to do for the outer layer. And then everything inside of here is going to be a pit except for the actual middle middle. So the, uh, the actual 5x5 five five in the middle will not be a pit. So it's going to be a little bit of digging. Okay. So from here on, I actually have a lot digging to, to do. <laughs> so I'm going to be digging out. Uh, the first layer of all of it. Then I'm going to be sitting the five by five in the middle just so I can envision where it's going to go. And then after that, we're going to be digging down. Now, I don't know how far down I actually want this to go. And realistically, how I see it, at least how I see it right now, it doesn't have to be finished today. I can just leave the bottom part be bedrock or whatever I reach and let the zombies just beat on it and kind of make the rest of the of the pit for me <laughs> at least uh, in the nearby future so i think that's probably a good way to go about it just for the next fortnight but i gotta keep go i gotta keep going i gotta keep farming so let me get this going and then i'll see you guys when i'm done with at least this, fir this first layer oh no we have a horde right before 2200 <laughs> Got him. Oh, right on time, right on time. Because it's almost nighttime. That would have been really, really, really bad. Oh, and we have one more over there. It leads me to believe they are going to be spawning on that on that church. But we'll deal with it when it comes. I don't think I can take this out easily from this far. So there we go. Swell. We, we really should clear that church in case they do spawn there. I don't think they're going to spawn all the way at my house, even though I can see it. But I don't think they're going to spawn that far out. At least that's my hope. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see when the Horde Knight arrives. But I'm going to move my turret over here just to be just to be sure. And then I'm going to keep digging. OK, here we go. Uh, so basically for right now, I think this whole center area can be just blocked off like it is right now. As you can see, it is a five by five. So it should be. Pretty good. I could still put another layer here. 
and I will leave one in the middle just so we can reach down there if they do end up breaking the wall somehow. But I think this is going to be pretty good. So what I was planning to do is use these over here to do a little bit of a corridor style thing since we're going for something easy and simple to work with. And so we could do something like this and hope that that keeps them going. And what I was thinking is I could just do it on all sides. So let me just copy this. I hope I'm doing this right. I honestly haven't made one in so long that now I just <laughs> not even sure. And we'll just keep rotating it until we get exactly what we need for each corner here. I'll do this one. I hope it works in the shape that I've placed it, but I guess we can test with any zombie coming up here so should be pretty good we should have some opportunity <laughs> for testing for sure all right and i think we got it done on all sides now which hopefully they work but we'll see we'll go ahead and put obviously concrete all over this and i think what we're going to do next is we're going to start to dig because we need to dig underneath this whole area outside of here and it's getting a little bit late so let's get going oh there's a zombie got him okay just making sure now we can get digging okay it is the morning of day 39 and we have worked we have worked so hard now we've only dug too deep okay because it's, we don't want to cut into this day too, too much, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of the idea of the horde base. Whether this will work or not, it's, it's it remains to be seen. I'm going to remove these here at the top because these wood ones don't need to be there. They were only there to kind of indicate to us where we were needed to dig. So what I did is I built a 17 by 17 on these wood frames. So that the interior of it would be 15 by 15 and then we could place, well, we could start digging. And I basically lawn mowed this thing around <laughs> just one row at a time and back and forth and back and forth until I got the first layer off, which is what I used to put this down on. Uh, this doesn't have any support at the bottom, which is obviously terrible, I realize. But for now, I think that's just what we're going to have to do. I think if we want to be safe for Horde Night, I mean, technically, this is a working Horde base. Yes, I have to... I had to block this off so that we don't immediately die. <laughs> but I was planning to make a, a kind of a structure at the top so that the cops wouldn't shoot at me. They would only, uh, only one side of this would be open so that, you know, we could hide and stuff from the spit and all that stuff. So, yeah, there's, there's plans here for the future. But the reason why I made it come from all sides is because I wanted to make sure that if one of these breaks... If one of these breaks, then we're going to be fine. Like, say, I, we shoot a demolisher or something over here and it explodes and these little blocks fall, then we can have we can resort to the other sides for the zombies to come in. But ideally, we would have them all blocked by hatches or something and so that they only come from one direction if possible. But, you know, we'll do what we do. We don't really have any plans for the future. We just want them to fall into the pit and then we want to shoot them down there with the explosive arrows. That's basically our dream right now. Now. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys sort of what we did. So we did four little corridors like this. This was my design actually for a base that would be more of a perception build. So if we ever do try out the perception build, this is kind of what I was thinking, where you both you basically just do a, a horde base where you can just use demolition and the reason why this is pretty good is because if you were to fully block off the bottom here and add supports all throughout this here then this outside area should be able to hold the base as well as the inside area should be able to hold uh these so they would have to take down so much structure to actually take us take us all down that it would be it would be kind of ridiculous so we're using these little things again uh we've used them before they work really really nicely and oh <laughs> and we fall into the pit so basically this pit here is also going to be blocked off so this area here the three by three area is going to be blocked off we can leave a hole in the middle if we are concerned that you know maybe zombies will be able to break through this wall and then i'll need a little extra perimeter but basically it's just going to be extra support anything can be supported basically all these corridor parts can be supported by the centerpiece just that's just how far we've made it um this thing here just by being too deep 
should make the zombies come through this path. I mean, ideally, if it doesn't, then we might have a problem, but I don't know how much more we can dig before Horde Night. So I'd rather be realistic about it. And how I see it is even if they beat on that side there, even if they beat over here, we should be OK. I think I want to dig this down two more, but it's going to have to be a project for another night. And I think we're going to get it done. Look, I think we're going to get it done before Horde Night. We have our setup already for more cement, more concrete. So as long as we keep going, we got this. Um, I'm going to be mining out those boulders at night just to get more cement, more concrete. And then we are going to solidify this whole structure. I've used the rest of my shapey blocks, you know, the ones I had already made, because obviously I'm not going to need them. So I've used them for some of this, as you can see, the ones that look like they're complete. That's because I've used the the blocks that I use for this. And the rebar, obviously we're gonna need concrete mix. Um, these needs to be upgraded again, because if you don't know, the con just the wet concrete is just one step below uh, fully, fully rebar slash concrete mix blocks. So if you put concrete mix on these rebar frames, it's better than this wet block. By, by at least half or something. So yeah, we basically need to reinforce these. Okay. Yes. I don't think she screamed. I don't think she screamed. If she did, we could test out our <laughs> we could test out our thing. So I guess that I should have probably just let her do it, but let her do her thing. But eh, you know what? This is fine. I'd rather not I'd rather it not be problematic today. So we'll do this over here. And we'll go three high because there needs to be flooring basically. And I will do this. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to have, uh, basically I want to be up here. I want to have some sort of railings up here so I can shoot things down at the bottom. So the zombies would still come in through here and I will shoot them down below. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, so then we're doing this here. And I'm going to cut into today a little bit just because obviously there's still a lot to be done on this space. I also want to do some bars here at the edge. And I think that's what I'm going to be working on next. Um, oh, that's why I shouldn't have done this side like this. Because then I'm going to fall. But no, 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 it's fine. Look, let's just hope I don't fall into the pit. <laughs> we can hope. We can hope and we can pray. And I've made them out of wood for now. So I can show you guys what I'm sort of thinking for here. Uh, we'll see if we can actually lay them down. Come on. You can do this, baby. And I suppose we will aim them whichever way we want to, to be honest. Probably do this here. Oh, no. I've fallen into the pit. I will do this over here like that. And I have to decide what I am going to do for that to be honest, because this has happened many times before where you can fall through that. So maybe what I'll do is I'll switch that block to a solid block, but it does allow you to throw grenades and things through through the hole. So it does have its uses, but it also has its, <laughs> its problems, obviously. And we'll continue this way. Let's do this and add the rest of the blocks. I don't know how many more I'm going to need. Obviously, I'm going to need more, <laughs> but I hope you guys get the idea. So basically, oh, so basically this is going to be three high above the current one. The zombies should not get up there. There should be no way the zombies get up there, but it would be a really, really nice way for us to shoot down into the pit. I made a few extra bars so we can test it out. Obviously, we're going to have to turn this into, into metal bars which I will be working on, but I, I do have some some iron in the forge, so I should be more than fine to make some forged iron for this. And I might even want to do it too wide just to give myself a little bit of extra room. But if not, then I'll just do it one wide and we'll be fine. We have a, a lot of extra blocks of these, but that's fine. We can use these for the base. We'll probably need them, but I made some extra last night. So yeah, uh, we could go one high or two high, and I'm planning to make myself a little bit of a 
just a little bit of a, a cage up there, I suppose. Um, this we can hide down here. We can also put dart traps in here. That, that was one of the ideas to just put some dart traps uh, in, in here in the middle. And since I don't think we're going to be needing the center of this at the moment, we can probably just block it off to make sure that we don't fall. So we'll just block that and we're good to go. This is our little horde base. A little bit weird. A little bit... A little bit not working right now, but I think it's going to be good for the future. Uh, I will go ahead and tear this down because there's absolutely no way that I'm going to be using... I'm going to be able to reinforce two layers of iron of this, uh, but I will try. I will try. And for these little ones in the corner, I hope that there is another block. Oh, I don't think there is. Uh, let me let me grab some flagstone. Okay. I grabbed a little bit... Of oh! Why? Why? Okay, I, I grabbed some flagstone blocks, okay? And what I'm trying to find, if there's a piece that has a little bit of a flat edge like this one, but that it would allow us to get maybe this one? Come on, please let it happen. Yeah. Does this look about right? Oh, if we place it and we're wrong. I think so. There you go. It looks horrible right now, but I think it's working. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It will line up with the, with, the, with the thing over there and it will be like a little corner piece. And yeah, the reason why I did that is because we are going to need to. I don't want, I don't want to fall <laughs> through the top floor. I really don't. So I think that's going to look really nice in the end. Okay, like a little like a little tower as well. And we can fight up there or we can fight in here. Um, fighting in here will be easier versus the cops, of course, uh, because we can hide a little bit more. I'll probably end up putting some foundations on the front here so that we can hide some doors or something. Very nice. And yes, I know it doesn't look <laughs> it doesn't look quite finished yet, but we are definitely going to be working on this. Let me go grab let me go grab really quickly. Look, if I can if I can get the cement on these, I will feel really really happy. So let me go see if I can find enough concrete mix now that there's enough concrete mix made that we can we can get this going. All right, so we have some concrete mix made here already. So that's swell. We have some here, and there's still some making there. And just a little bit more here and some sand. Oh, swell. We also have a little bit of cement. I don't have any more stone, though, I think. So I don't think that's going to work. I'm going to leave that there. And this is all the clay soil that we got from that. That was an insane amount of clay soil. I've also grabbed the stack of our co cobblestone blocks. We have more cobblestone blocks. But I'm only grabbing this because I only need to upgrade the little corners. And everything else is concrete, so it won't matter. But, yep, yeah, let's get this going. I... I don't have any more stone. So as I said, these are going to be just sitting here for a little bit. We do have some cement working on that one. But, you know, the, the stopper right now is just the stone. We just need more stone. But yeah, I got this going. Oh, let me grab some forge iron before we leave. Okay, I actually have a pathetic amount of forge iron. It's really bad. Uh, we have 27, guys. 27. That's it. Oh, what, how rough. This is not even going to be enough to upgrade three things. It's going to be enough to upgrade two. So that's going to be pretty, pretty sad. We are making some more right now. We have more forged steel than we have forged iron. That's how crazy the situation is at the moment. And I think part of it is that I also made the cement mixers, which cost 25 each or something. So that didn't help. And now we have, I think, enough to get this going. Guys, if we can do this, we are going to be so good in such good shape for this fortnight i think and if not then we'll run as per usual it is our default i hope we have enough for this i'm starting to think we might be in trouble here <laughs> and i think what we can do also to give ourselves a little bit of an easier out is we could we could also make a little bit of an extra block here an extra pillar and just sink it all the way down that would hold all this as well so yeah, I don't think this needs to be a priority here on the corners, but this will also help, obviously. Basically anything will help right now to get this solidified. And I am reinforcing these because, like I said, this is the, the wet concrete version, and it is much weaker 
than than this other one so upgrading from rebar straight away is a lot better but you know we do what we can we had it already so we might as well use it and i have to upgrade the floor that's a priority as well we could leave an i'm gonna leave that one there just because i'm not exactly sure if i want to to make like a like a path down because making a path down would help please please don't fall all right making a path down would help for other things and i've also considered using the same kind of ramps that we did at our base on the side of the base here uh, it's possible but with the sides how i made them it's not going to be super super easy um i have to i have to think about it if i do want to do them i would have to basically redo the corners here i i will have to see <laughs> This is going to be more repairs over here, but I think it'll be pretty good in the end. Especially if I add enough traps and enough things in there. If I add maybe some dart traps to the sides here, or just right down to the bottom, I think that would also help a lot. Hopefully I don't run out. Let's see. Uh, let's try to get these done, the ones that don't have anything on it. And then we'll try to upgrade the, the other concrete ones. If we wanted to, we could do it like we did in our survival series where they can come back out and come back around and do it again, which is fine. But I wanted to work on more of a pit situation this time, which I know it's not the most ideal. It's not the most ideal base <laughs> base look, base thing, but I don't care. Like, I don't care. It's fine. What I think I can do here is if I do want to do the ramps like I did at the house, uh, we could do them on the bottom. So... Uh, we might have to chop up this this bottom one here, but we could just do like a little skirt, you know, around the base on the corners over there. And I think that would also work just fine. We just have to make the pit a little bit taller, which is fine because we were planning on doing that anyway. <laughs> but we're going to probably let the zombies do it for us this time. Oh, swell. Guys, we leveled. Oh, this is the, this is the best feeling in this game, honestly. To get a few levels... Get it. Get your base built. The nail gun building feels fantastic. And we still have a little bit of concrete left. Sweet. And I'll show you guys how much we can upgrade with this. <laughs> there you go. We can upgrade two bars. <laughs> yep. Forged iron is going to be a problem, but we're going to make some more. But this is the look of our base. Guys, aren't you guys excited? This, is, this, looks, this looks nice. Okay? This looks swell. Yes, it's not done, okay? It's not done. I still have to add more things to the middle, probably more support to the middle. Dart traps are going to be a big thing since we do have them. And I might leave some uh, some slits, like uh, like the little these little guys. Where are they? Yeah, we might make some of these, okay? Uh, not probably there, but maybe, maybe, maybe facing the other way. And we'll just put the dart traps in there. It's going to look great. Uh, we're going to make a lot of dart traps. That's basically going to be our defense system since that's the only thing in the agility, in the intellect tree that we're able to do. So that's the only traps we can have. We can have dart traps and we can have our turret. Our turret is great, but if we do have demolishers, which we should have on this, on this time around, um, we don't really want that. The turret is a liability. I will put the turret at the top to deal with the birds and that will be it. But this is the starter of our base. Of course, we're missing a lot of components in the middle. We're missing a lot of stuff at the top. We're probably gonna have to make a cage so the birds don't eat us, stuff like that, right? So it's not completely done, but I think in the future, it's going to be glorious. It's going to be wonderful. As the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting some points in since now we are getting there, guys. We are getting there. I will put another point in flurry of blows and another point there now we are four on that and that's it the next points will be going to the agility tree i need two more so very very exciting i know i said i was going to go to flurry blows three but you know what we'll just flurry blows four just to be safe if we do fall in the pit though we are dead we are dead so that's something to consider we are completely and absolutely dead oh hello vultures it's like they're is it a vulture horde I think it is. All right. Well, I'll get on the bicycle. That will definitely attract them. Come here. Come here, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're heading home anyway. <laughs> yeah, they're coming. Ah, oh, those little suckers. All right. We'll dismount here. Get ready for an attack. Because they are going to be coming for me. 
Oh, yeah. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. And is there another one? Oh, the other one left us alone. Very nice. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed the build of our little horde base. It only took 39 days, but we got it done. Sort of. <laughs> we got it started. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Until then.